This story just broke. I believe the kids call this a Woj bomb. Adrian Wojnarowski. New Orleans has parted ways with GM Dell Demps. You know what the NBA should do? They should have a new trade deadline. <laughs> Announced today. Lakers, Pelicans, you got 48 hours. Wrap this Anthony Davis thing up, would ya? <laughs> what a mess. You know, it's funny because the coach of the Pelicans, Alvin Gentry, last night, his team beat Oklahoma City. Anthony Davis got hurt and the guys won. And he was talking about this entire Pelican situation with a star player wants out all the rumors of a Laker trade, and he talked about it. To tell you the truth, you know, this this whole thing has been a dumpster fire, you know, and it's just hard, you know, for guys, you know, we want guys to be professional and we want them to do this, but it's hard for guys to go through what they've been through. It's not a dumpster fire since Dell Demps just got fired. It's a dumpster fire. Listen, the Lakers didn't want to get involved, and this is a golden rule. Be very careful about getting involved in unbalanced relationships. Okay, the Lakers are the golden brand of the NBA. The Pelicans are run by NFL people. Louisiana has two Fortune 500 companies. City's not really capable of generating enough sweet revenue, TV, local radio, to really make this puppy work. Players don't want to play there. You know, not enough big money in New Orleans to have a separate ownership group, and but the Lakers had to. We're in baseball. Certain teams will say, we're not going to deal with Scott Boris, the agent. In the NBA, sometimes you got to deal with second and third tier agents and the bottom of the barrel teams because players matter more. Individual players matter more in the NBA. By the way, Woj continues on in regards to that Laker Pelican mess. Woj says, quote, ownership was livid with an injured Anthony Davis leaving the arena during Thursday night's game, sources say. Gail Benson's telling associates she wants an overhaul of the Pelicans and a search for a GM to take command of the trade talks with Anthony Davis and reshape the team's future. But again, this is an organization, the Pelicans, that just don't have the money, the gravitas, the history, or the personnel. Top scouts don't want to work for the Pelicans. Top's GMs don't want to work for the Pelicans. That's why leagues, you have to be very careful who you allow in the league. You got Frank McCourt, Dodgers, bad owner. Did not have the money to own a Major League Baseball team. Frank McCourt did a lot of injury to the Dodger brand. He did not qualify, and they slid him in. Bud Selig did. It was a massive mistake. You want rich guys who don't meddle, who have capital, Pelicans shouldn't be in this league. But one of the reasons I don't engage on Twitter with just regular people, there's no win for me. Somebody's trying to get into a conversation to get me in trouble, get me all stoked up. It's the same thing with the Lakers. They don't want to be in, they don't want to do business with the Pelicans and Dell Demps, but they had to. And I feel bad. Nobody ended up looking good in this thing. Clutch Sports looked bad. Lakers looked bad. LeBron looked bad. Magic looked bad. Rob Palenka, Anthony Davis. Even the Celtics got hit by shrapnel. And in baseball, we all know they should cut out about 60 games. In the NBA, they should cut out about five teams. I mean, New Orleans is in the West. Figure that one out. The Pelicans use NFL employees. So it's just, and it's not over, by the way. This mess is not over. The Pelicans, you know, they felt like they got over on the Lakers. But the problem is, now your star, Anthony Davis, hates you, A, and B, he just got hurt. So th this has been one of these situations where this is a cautionary tale of where you put teams. You know, when you, when you at Jacksonville in the NFL, it's not an NFL city. Top people don't want to work there. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just, you got to be careful every time these owners, these billionaire owners say, yeah, expansion, expansion. None of our leagues need expansion. And I'm not picking on New Orleans. They're a great NFL city. It is an unbelievable college football city. But it, I, I lived in Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon's got a great NBA franchise and a great MLS franchise. You can't give them a baseball team. They're not, they're not big enough. They don't have the corporate support for a 162 game. You'd need 
37,000 season ticket holders and 40 suites being sold to corporations. Outside of, you know, you got Nike, you got, you know, Tektronics or a couple of, you know, tech companies. You don't have enough money. So Pelican thing was a mess. Dell Demps, Dempster fire is out. And uh, I swear to God, they should just open that trading deadline up for 48 more hours and get that puppy done. 